this matters? Oh, good guys. Can, yeah. you see, can you see us? Yeah. Oh, I think I think we real realise you know just this is how, how difficult this is in terms of the squad and the depth we've got. So I think it's about us just trying to get the right balance of the squad in terms of balance of the rugby that we want to play and, and, and rugby players and also matching up with the physicality that's going to come um, that South Africa are going to bring. The five coaches we've had all have a, had a significant input into really a uh, robust debate about who we think should be in the squad. We're trying to get a balance between experience, uh, some players who we think we can develop on tour, um, and players that will improve in that Lions jersey, and players whose form may not have been quite as good as we thought it might have been during the Six Nations, but have got credit in the bank in terms of what they've done or experienced in the past. I can honestly say that the coaches have been incredibly diligent in terms of looking at players, talking to to other coaches uh, about certain players and about their thoughts, um, looking at videos and, and, and past games, and you know, trying to make uh, the best decision that, that they possibly can. And and everyone's not going to agree with the squad, uh, everyone's not going to have the same opinion, and, and that's perfectly fine. And we have to do what we think is the best job that we can to come up with a squad that we think can be incredibly competitive that can go out to South Africa and win a test series. Yeah, well, it's a squad announcement day, and we're just about to announce it to the public. So it's an exciting day for for us as coaches. Um, very exciting, very nervous for the for the players. They're going to picture sitting either at home or with their, their teammates at their clubs, uh, and it just shows you the power of the lines, that the interest this is generating, but also the. Um, excitement and uh, nerves that players right throughout Britain and Ireland are currently feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the 2021 British and Irish Lions squad. It's been an unbelievable feeling. Um, you get goosebumps even when you bring that, that sort of the, the, the question up. I think for me and my family, um, the, the learning, the journey we've been on in my coaching career and what, what my family have, have given up and, and lots of people. And I think what the Lions, I think, really brings out to you is that that everyone who's helped them and supported them along this journey, and I feel you represent so much more than, it's so much bigger than, than I've, anything I've, I've felt before, and I just feel really grateful. And when you come into the environment, you come to these days, you re realise the enormity of, of what the Lions is, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's just an amazing feeling. It's my honour to announce the touring squad for the 2021 Lions Tour to South Africa. Chris Harris, Gloucester Rugby, Scotland. Anthony Watson, Bath Rugby, England. Oh, look, today is massively exciting. You know, we've got everybody comes together for the first time, and today is where you start to see the your, your work come to you know fruition. The most exciting part for us is, as an ops team, both myself and, and Thumper, is getting on the ground and actually getting to be in a team environment because that's where we all thrive the most. It's been good, now we get into the exciting part now. Players are coming in tonight. That's what it's all about for us, operational side of things. And what's been great, you are already last night and today everybody's mucked in, moving bags, lifting, swapping. And that's what you want on tour, you want everybody together. And we've already started to build that now. It's been quite difficult, um, this tour, in comparison to 2017, because we had a longer lead-in time. 
to be able to plan and organise everything. Whereas essentially we're trying to probably do about a year and a half's work in about six weeks at the moment. So there's a lot of late nights uh, and early mornings. Um, but for us, it's all worth it when we see the smile on the player's face when they come through that door and actually the, the real buzz that's around the place um, as we gather for the first time as a squad. Trainers, bro. <laughs> Of course, COVID has thrown up a lot of challenges for us. We haven't had the opportunity to be able to go into the camps um, and in, into the national teams. So with that, uh, with that in mind, we've had to rely on, on getting some information from the unions. And then uh, Rachel from Canterbury and myself have worked really closely together on putting all of the, the kit bags and the sizes together for the, for the management and, and the players so that when the players arrive, they go to their bedrooms mm -hmm. and, uh, and they get to, to open that, mm -hmm. that magic bag for the first time, which I know is a, a very special, uh, special moment for the players. Oh, the best part. Very exciting, yeah. Um, especially this one was probably in my mind, the, hard, the hardest tour to make with competition and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a treat to go through this now again, which is um, pretty special. Get an awful lot of, a lot of kit, so that will keep my dad happy. He likes to get his hands on the free, the free stash when it comes through. So, it'll be, uh, all of this will be put to use, please, God. They go straight to, they go straight to home. We usually don't wear them. I'm a short man for the training. That's it. Very happy with that. Very happy. Hey, um, guys, just, just, just firstly from me, just. I won't be too long, just congratulations on the selection. Probably for me, probably the hardest, and for the coaches, the hardest squad we've ever had to select, and how challenging that was. But at the end of the day, it was about picking good players, but picking good men as well, and quality men, and that's kind of what we looked at, and men who will go down to South Africa, um, wear that jersey with pride, but also fight for each other and go into battle with each other because that's what it's about and it's, you know, it's going to be incredibly challenging for us all. Be assured that we're going there to win a series. That's what we're doing. Let's not hide away from that fact that we're going to put a squad together, a team together. We're going there to win. And we will not hide away from that fact in terms of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve as a, as a group of people. Right, we've got Brian Cuniff, EIS, sports scientist. Uh, sixth mem unofficial member of the uh, SNC team is Raller, the special bagman. Raller's on his fourth tour. Um, in that total four tours, he's, um, he's carried a total of two bags, boys. Yeah, well, obviously, the, the transfer from Marrow's uh, last tour and him having the Lion. It's been great to be here today. You know, it's always an honour being selected for, for the Lions, for the Lions squad. And you know, often it, this, these types of days, these types of, of of opportunities and events actually makes it feel a lot more real. It makes it feel a lot more tangible. And you know, I think it just grows the excitement. I'm looking forward to getting going. I'm looking forward to getting out there and training, and you know, meeting up with with the boys properly. <laughs> Three, two, one. Thank you very much. Well, you did well. That was the, that was the yeah, toughest challenge so far. Yeah, that was a strong performance. Yeah. yeah. It was a uh, trying so hard not to break. Well done, mate. Yeah. My most you know, special memory from the, the previous tours is the, the bonds you create, proper friendships that, 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 um, that last a lifetime. Anytime you meet up with it with a new group of um, players, it's, it's a bit nerve-wracking, I suppose, a little bit, just um, the unknown, but um, 
you know, coming into camp and, and seeing the Lions flags and, and the, the, the branding everywhere, it's brought it to life. So it's, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a really exciting couple of days. It definitely feels like day one, but well aware there's boys that are going to go back to, to their, their domestic campaigns and finish those off. Guys that are probably going to be involved in playoffs and, and fin finals respectively. So it's, it's almost going to be a sort of um, hollow two weeks until we can you know, get to day two, which is obviously the, the start of Jersey.